Fight. Fight show five. Fight. And there's a lot to talk about. We're talking. <laughs> 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 we need one of them at the start. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fight. <laughs> we get one of them made or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, rampacked, mate. Rampacked. UFC, was... UFC 290. And the fight, <laughs> the fight um, show before Sean yeah. Strickland. Yeah, Sean Strickland. Yeah, Sean Strickland. Do you know what we I didn't speak about the on the last today, fight show? What? Um, Jared Cannonier Vittori. Yeah, we didn't, did we? Yeah. Bro, that was a fight. He landed the most, most significant of... strikes for a middleweight, I think, yeah. ever. In the UFC, yeah. Bruv, How he, put, he put in, like, put I think like it was like two, two to three hundred significant yeah, strikes. Yeah, it was two, seven, eight, I think. Um, yeah, he put hands on Vittorio, but that boy's a dog because he, he, he bit down and I'm surprised he survived. His face looked mashed up. Yeah. Like that. Oh my God, mashed up. It's mad sometimes when these guys go through a beating in it and they come out the other side. Yeah, I don't know how he come out the other side. His <laughs> face must have hurt so bad the next morning. Like, so bad. Um... With that amount of shots, man, jeez. So that was a Christ. Jared Cannonier's back up there. You got the Sean Strickland, Magomedov. That was a good fight. The, I haven't actually watched Strickland that fight. Is, he, he's, he's got such a weird style, he, isn't he, man? Like, he beats you down. He's like that. Yeah, like he just comes and <laughs> He's very upright. He's, he's yeah. like white, white trash, isn't it? As he calls himself. White trader. He's so it. funny, though. Oh, yeah. he, oh, my God. He's so Joe funny. Joe Rogan hit with them, oh. dude. Matt Sarah and then Sean Strickland oh, yeah, back yeah. to back. Two Matt Sarah sick episodes. Well, he's had three, three bangers back to back. He had a Tom Zuc yeah. Obviously, I'm a Tom Segura yeah, fan, yeah, so yeah, I like yeah. that one. And then he had the MMA show and the MMA show. I was like, Joe, man, you're spoiling us. He's been here. And you know he's going to do another <laughs> MMA show yeah. after this because yeah. surely someone's going to come on, whether it's maybe maybe Driscus. Dracus? Driscus? Driscus. Yeah. It looks like Driscus, but they were calling him Dracus yesterday. Well. No, it's Driscus. I thought it was Driscus, but they were calling him Dracus. Drickers? Duplices. Maybe it's Drickers Duplices. Yeah. Drickers. Yeah, I don't think there's a name. It's Drickers. 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 He, he would be a good one to get on. Well, he, he, I, I think he, we might be able to get him on a Zoom. Because I've seen him doing a Zoom with someone who's not... Then They weren't the biggest platform. Yeah, but like listen, a thousand subscribers. You don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, a thousand yeah, subscribers. Like and I was like, he'd done a Zoom with them. And I was thinking... Listen, I think if you sent I'll go out to South like Africa. a heartwarming message and showed like you're really interested in him, like, you can tap in. I've got South Africa for Driscus. Hey, yeah. good day, mate. The pluses. Um, but we'll start off with uh, Frankie's story, man. We'll yeah. start with Frankie's story. What a fight from the boy. First stoppage. You could see it on I his just face. You sent well. me the video, man. Yeah, first stoppage. He's such a good fight. So, oh, so good. He's so clean. He's so, He's so clean. He's so, like, pleasure. Like I said, eye porn. He well, loves a body well, shot. When you've got people, <laughs> porn, people there that are, like, not there to support him and say, like, your, your boy is Clapping sick. Clapping him. Like, they were bunch no, of boys he, next he, to him. He, so like, can, he's he is a bot. To me, when I, like, I watch him, yeah, I'm like, this is boxing. Like, the combos, the body shots, upstairs, downstairs, dancing a little bit. And he just he comes, loves like, it. Listen, yeah, he even yesterday he there the was two like, he me and him done a one to one, and then there was two um, lads sparring, sparring yeah, and he was and he like in the corner after he was like to them like, look, you need to like f do some feints, like move your feet, like start coming in at different angles like give someone something to think about and he was talking to him and then the next round they started they were both doing it and now he was like there you go lad you look like fucking boxers now didn't you look at this much better like gassed he was yoked up i was saying to him man he sh he needs to um speak to luton town boxing club and because he does his one-to-ones on uh tuesdays i think then thursdays weekends um, well, and weekends but i was like you need to speak to them and try and get more Maybe, maybe do your own classes, boxing classes, like yeah. an hour and a half or something. See it's, bo it's, it's, good, it's good for the boxing club because there, there's more classes on. It's good for him because... Well, it'd be good if he could like try he, he for him, and he just needs to try to escape his own job. Yeah, well, and is, I think that's a brilliant is, way he is of doing it. Yeah, doing that, he is. He's, he's got, with yeah. Fox and Saves Lives, and he was in Foxdale School on Friday. I think yeah, it was yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he he's coming out, but that's such a good way to do it with. You never know. I think his classes, I think a lot of people would want to go to his classes. I would. Yeah. I'd, I'd go, go to his it. classes on, on Tuesdays yeah, or Thursdays or whatever for an hour and a half and do like a proper boxing session with him. He's got a lot of knowledge to give. So. Well, let's suggest he's in the pudding, it, yeah. man. He's, his resume speaks. Yeah. So I, I um, but yeah, his, his actual performance though, as a whole, when you watch it at the time, I didn't realise how big the shots were. They were I didn't realise how big the shots were he was hitting, but when you watch it back on camera and you're a bit closer up, 
Jesus, he was throwing haymakers at him. He did. He went to the corner, apparently, and Tony is like, after the first round, like, you relax. You've got six rounds. Like, relax. And Frankie was like, nah, mate, I ain't doing six rounds. <laughs> like, he, he's getting, he's yeah, going. Yeah, wow. He's was, going. Was it the first round where he, he hit, like... It nah, was, it's it the start the of the second round. He done he a... Just, he done a yeah, twenty but, punch flurry, yeah, and we were like, "No, like, yeah, we were thinking, don't, don't burn, burn out. yourself." And he said to me that his arms were burning <laughs> after, and then he just hit him with. Do you know what was jokes? Because yeah, you reckon he can feel when like the opponents just. Yeah, you could, he, we could see it. I think right. you can, but he said he he did catch him with one shot though. He said to me he caught him with one as well. He goes, he caught because he goes just in them eight ounce gloves. You can just feel everything, like knuckles coming through. You can just feel it. And he was like, he caught him with one shot and he thought, fucking hell, you don't want to take, you don't want to take too many of them. <laughs> yeah. like, you don't. But um, but it was so much better because the guy actually wanted to fight. Like he's saying he's a journeyman. Apparently he is a journeyman. He's got a winning record, but apparently he is a journeyman. But I, this is what I truly think happened to that guy's career. I think, yeah, because he won an English title in that. And I think this is what's happened. I think he got to a good level, had a few losses and mentality wise just turned into a journeyman because me and Mikey actually spoke to him after and he, he you rarely you get to speak we, to we the rarely opponent. get to speak to the opponent we spoke to him and we just felt a bit sorry for him because he was he was saying all this stuff and it was a couldn't bit sell more tickets, yeah, I, couldn't sell tickets. I couldn't do this like if I had good opportunities blah 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 blah. and I think he got to a good level and and he had a few losses and I think in boxing if you have a few losses no one goes oh you can bounce back like you can bounce back like it's keep negative. going you can, it's like it's you've had three losses yeah. you're done yeah. You're done. Your career's yeah. over. You think with Anthony Joshua, people what, are he's had him off three right losses. Now, yeah. yeah, he's done. Yeah, three losses. That's that's hard. That's nothing. Three losses. And after his first loss with Ruiz or his first loss to Usyk, everyone was like, if he loses again, he should retire. Should retire. Three losses. That's 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 pathetic. In the UFC, people have twelve losses and go win a world title. Mm. George Masvidal, he didn't go win a world title, but his records like. 20 wins, 10 losses or, or more, like 27 wins, 17 losses. Like Robbie Nate Lawler. Diaz, Robbie Lawler. Yeah, and these people go on to do big things, man. in boxing is so embedded from like bottom to top. That's what it's embedded. Like, yeah. You could, that, that, that O. It's the O. Yeah. It's the it o. is. It's the O. It is. It's that, embedded in boxing. Yeah. And I think if you look at all the greats, it's just embedded. So with this guy, I think he's he got to a good level, had a few losses. I don't know this for certain because I've not gone and looked for his record and seen when his losses come, which I probably I might do actually, to be fair, after. Um, and I think he's embraced being a journeyman now because as it's like me and Mike were saying, we spoke to him. He was he, he was saying it was more of easy. Like he doesn't have to sell tickets. You get paid to just turn up. So da, 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 da. Paid yeah, you get paid eighteen hundred pounds. Yeah, paid eighteen hundred pounds just to turn up. Like so, it's more of an easy life. But I think if he has the chance to take out these prospects, he will. Yeah, he's one of them journeymen. Yeah. He's not like covering up, and he's like, "I'm in here to lose. There's no chance of me winning." And I think he's in there, and he's like, "Yeah, if I can drag some of these prospects down with me, I will." Like, yeah, and and because Frankie was telling me a few weeks ago he beat a prospect, someone who was just meant to go in there and bowl him over. The guy beat him, so mm -hmm. I think so he's exactly like got exactly that mentality like, where he's like, "I'm a journeyman now, but I could have been something." Yeah, but so that's fuck like, you! I'm gonna if I can take you down with me, I'm gonna take you down. He's yeah, like that. Let's remember that we watched that Kazakhstan guy again. That he lost. He lost to the black guy. Yeah, oh yeah, man, that, that was, was mad. That was mad. That was so sick. Because right, you root for the underdog sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, not if it's Frankie and that, but you do root yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it happens because when you watch the fight back, because because the full video is out now, he's the guy's moving he's showing him no, he, he he's, wasn't he's, bad he's at all like, him. he's he, like frankie hit him to the body in the first round and it, it didn't it didn't hurt him and then he went like this and then he went ah, and then laughed at him laughed at frankie and then how, how funny is it frankie stopped him with body shots yeah because he, 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 <laughs> he was like he, so he was a cocky he was a cocky when he was talking to us he was like yeah he hit me there and i've covered up and then he's hit me the other side i've just gone down yeah so. yeah um but it's so funny because I'll, I'll link this video up as well i'll show him what i'm talking he's like he frankie hits him and he walks off and he's like and then he goes ah, oh, and then laughs at frankie like to say his mate what the fuck was that that didn't hurt frankie said there was a bit of bad blood going into it yeah, and he was talking Apparently in the weigh-in, they were like talking, talking shit. shit. And apparently on uh, social media, he was talking shit, saying he's going to he's gonna slap him, he's going to show him and all of this. That's what we want though, isn't it? And that you see that with baby. Frankie. Boy was hungry. He come out like a, a hungry like dog. And just 
Do you know? Do you know when we've watched him before as well? Mm. Like he's never been kind of satisfied with his performance, and like you look at him when he was celebrating, you could see that he was satisfied with what he'd done. Even speaking to him, it's a whole mentality shift. Where whereas I think it got to a stage for him where he's progressing. He's tra- so right. his trajectory is going up, but there's a few little dimishes and going up, and there's the opportunities. And I think after he, I think getting this knockout, it was like. I've knocked someone out now. Like I knew I could and I've done it. And it's 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 kind of like if you were playing football and you're a striker and you're not scoring. You're having you're having good games, but you're not scoring, and then yeah. you go and score, and then you score again and you score. It's it's no it's no different, in it? For him, he wants yeah. knockouts and people want to see knockouts, and that's how you get on the shows by knocking people out. And for him, his whole aura has changed like over it. Because I think he was getting to a stage where it was a bit disheartening for him. Where he's like, I'm not getting... Oh, well, like, I should be. Also, you can start doubting yourself. You're yeah, like, can, yeah, you start do, doubting. Do you, That's what he can, said. can I knock people out? He goes out? to me, he goes... <laughs> he goes to me the other day, he goes... He goes, yeah, man, like... I thought I had fucking pillow hands. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, what have He's I got so pillow funny, hands? Nah, there's been a lot of times though where it's come to the end of the fight, and it's just because the rounds are too short. It goes to just a show a couple more, a couple more rounds. Like he and some boxing politics, and well. just yeah, fighting yeah, yeah. better people. Yeah, like someone who He's actually come. will try and punch you in the face, so they are more open. They are overextending, like Tony was saying to us yeah. in the back. Like these people are going to start coming at him, overextending, and that's where you get knocked out. You don't get knocked out when you're just doing this. You can survive like that. Like you look but at that's the body. Why I like Frankie because yeah. he is he's probably one of the, the like few boxers that actually opens up um journeyman like can of worms. Cuz them body shots man, they just can't do them. Cuz he works them. Yeah. He works them like a workhorse. But that's the, yeah, it's exciting. That's an exciting yeah, little I can't. I that's can't. a good It's uh, good for him though. I'm it glad his mentality changed cuz like it's I said the road him. has been a little bit You got you got to do the Oh yeah, yeah. He done. I watched it back. He didn't actually pop it off his bicep. I thought he popped it. He got his mouth guard and he like flicked it up. I thought he popped it off his bicep. He's gassed. He's like walking around the ring, got his mouth guard and popped it to Tony, and Tony caught it. And uh, but I thought he popped it up. But I think he just got it and like flicked it up, and Tony uh, just caught it. But uh, it was um, no. Nah, it's happy days for him, man. I'm happy for him. He deserves it. it He's been putting in the work, and uh, I, I do think these boxing sessions. I think he should. I think that's definitely they should. Something well, he like said, he's got three people here that to, would go um, to, to Luton Town Boxing Club. Well, I, I think so. If not, if like, I think people would definitely go, up, yeah. I would go, yeah. So, should, 100%. um, and so we'll stay on local fighters. I mean, so Ticey's mandatory for the European, mandatory, mandatory for the European. For the European. Yeah. I think there's something going on with purse bids at the minute, it's finding out which. Where it's she's actually going to be, man. Yeah, she's it's moving, mad. She's moving. moving, she's moving and grooving. Um, finding out where it's going to be which promotion it's going to be staged on um so that's that's a I'm moving that's massive, her, man. massive man yeah, that is massive. To her, yeah. Yeah. she deserves it she well, does deserve it in. she puts the work in man and, and it's nice to see that well we'll go on to jordan as well jordan's fighting in two weeks time isn't he? but they're all under the same camp now, yeah they're all I mean? under tony all, yeah. all under the same coach same strength and conditioning, same nutritionist, and they're all, they're all on the, the trajectory path of going forward, man. Mm, yeah. Taking them big steps. It's good for Tony as well. Man. Yeah, it's good You're for Tony because yeah. he's a young coach. Yeah, like, he's not old. He's not like Are they. He's, he's got, got three, pr- and he's got three got good massive with with big all with big followings, and so they just got a big fighter coming to the gym as well, isn't it? Yeah, Dubois is at their gym now as well. Fighting Usyk. He? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's under um, D- Don. Oh, is he? Yeah. So Dubois he's a big boy he's there. Shy. He's there now. What Dubois fighting Usyk? Yeah. What is it? What for? What belt? W- all, yeah. of, all of them. All, all, all of them. All of them. He's got all of them. Usyk's belt. Well, he's he got the WBC. He has Who's got, got the WBC. He hasn't got the one Fury. Fury. Fury still yeah. got that. Yeah. Why are they making Fury fight? <laughs> Why are you getting angry? <laughs> he fought Chisora, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He just gave Chisora. Chisora's under him. that gym as well. Yeah, he's under Don. Yeah, nah, he, yeah, but come on, he felt sorry for Chisora. Chisora, you know, he's just like, oh, come on, man, just spare he deserved that. it. Yeah, get me, get me. We'll, we'll eat five guys after together. <laughs> yeah, that? That's yeah. Exactly yeah, they go and eat yeah, five yeah, yeah, guys yeah, yeah. in the back talking. Five guys is very nice, man. Yeah, but yeah, so, and then Duncan's fighting at the end of this month as well. Yeah, Uptown Dunk. Okay. And uh, in Cambridge, so that'd be good for him to get back out. It's been like 
I think it was a year the other day since his last fight. So yeah. it's been a long layoff, but yeah. he's been training. He has, he has been, been training. training. He's been he's been mixing it with the people at Legends. He's been mixing it with RGA Bucks, with Sam Creasy and Tom Creasy and stuff like that. Some so good he's uh, though, hope yeah. he's ready, prime for it, man. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, good When's luck. When's that? Man. This when mm, end of this month. End of this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Cambridge, might go down. To be fair. Cambridge. Cambridge, you know. Yeah, drive down, go watch the boy, show some support, see him get a little stoppage, ground and pound, bit of a mauling. I'll see who he's fighting the other day as well. What music does he come out to? Does he come out to Bruno Mars? No, I feel like he come out to... Um, he should come out to... Uptown, fuck you up. Uptown, fuck you up. Whatever it is, fuck you up, or whatever it is. I think he come out to that. But that would be pretty sick if it was like that. He should do a dumb version of that, man. He should come out to Uptown Funk. Yeah, but he should he should dub it and be like, Uptown, fuck you up. Or make his own like little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he should. Dunk, what are you playing at, man? You got to come out to this. You got to be a showman, Jabrones. Um, I think that's it for the local fighters. Yeah, Jordan's yeah, fighting nothing. in a few weeks. 21st of uh, 21st July. 21st of July. York Hall. York Hall, yeah. Um, so he's back um, out. And I think... He's looking kind of big as well, man. Yeah, he's looking big. Huh? Looking... He's really like... They're just wide, really, yeah. boxers. They're just it's really it's wide. Really they're really like thin, but like it's stretched. It's like like they've like, been stretched. It's all like that, innit? Well, we'll keep on the, the local fighters. Going back to Frankie, the documentary come out. Oh, I'm going the local. Yeah. Living a vida loca. He's having so <laughs> His ego Living a vida loca. <laughs> um, but I knew what it was going to be. Yeah. I just, it's hard for me to think because I'm watching it over and over and over. Like some of them parts in that thing I've watched. I've watched so many times. How long did it take you to do? To do it all. It's hard, man. I don't know. Over. What I, was it I, over? I, I couldn't tell you because I don't know. Half a year. No, no, nah. no, 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 no. It's months. definitely a good like. No, I'd like say, I've like, had seventy five hours. I've had it for a couple months because, but it's been finished. Yeah. Or it's been just little things like subtitles needed doing, or corrections, or just redoing some of the color on some bits. It's not been. They've not been. It's been because I was filming it and editing it, filming it and editing it, filming it. So when I was filming these parts at Frankie's, I'd edit it the next week. Or do it, I, I was it. never holding on to too much footage. Mm -hmm. So there, I was never, it never got to a bit where it was like clumped. Mm. I had like 14 hours of footage I had to go through. Just then it would have been bit. shit. You're doing then, it like yeah. step by step. I'd film a bit at his house, edit it. Film the bit at the gym, edit it. Film the interview, edit it. And then, but then I, I, I have got a sheet where I planned it all out. Like I planned out what bits, it was just some bits didn't look right or some music didn't match some bits or like when I watched it, Frankie and his missus, some, some of the bits that I thought would be emotional didn't make them as emotional because the music wasn't right. So I've changed the music, like just little things mm. like that. And it, um, but it come out really good, especially mm. for a first dog. I think it's a five to 10,000 view banger, but YouTube's not, YouTube's not. So if you haven't watched it, head over there right now. Mavida Loka, the link's in the description. It's pinned to the channel. Watch this first. Give it a like. Give us them watch hours. But go over there after because you will not regret it. The video yeah. is... Uh, and Frank, that's your first one. Thanks to everyone sharing it. Yeah, thanks well. to everyone sharing it. Yeah, it's had a lot of love, a lot of messages. Frankie's had a lot of messages, um, a lot of comments. I think like it's good you can get, yeah, so, you shed light on him. Yeah, you know I mean? he's more, an interesting more guy, more man. So he's a, And he's a deep guy. Like he's it's, it's, he's had a he's had a, a emotional roller coaster as a journey, yeah, yeah. so it's good for him. And that's what I was thinking of doing. His ones is just when it's a big. So for instance, if he's fighting for his southern area, that's a documentary. It yeah. might not be the same as this one because you wouldn't have the interview bit, but or you, maybe you would have bits. Or maybe yeah, maybe that's something to figure out. But I'm I'm thinking of doing every video leading up to that as just small episodes. You know, kind of just like anatomy of a fighter. Yeah. Just for every fight, just doing something fun and yeah, no, and, and having having episodes, just so him. people can just keep following his journey. Then when it's a big fight, then have it as a documentary, yeah, so like an hour so long, and then like it's that. leading up a couple of just following him and just as team story. Do you know what I mean? I think that's yeah, a good idea. I so I think um, I think I'm gonna do that with him. Because um, you've already done ones like that for him. I've you? done ones like that. They wouldn't look like that though. They'd look a lot better now. Well, of course. Yeah, but yeah just because yeah. of the way, just the camera equipment and the planning and 
you know, like the mics and micing up coaches and micing yeah. up people and speaking to people. Like them ones were kind of just like, let's just go with the flow. For go the with first the flow and times, like, yeah. let's see what we can capture and what we can what we can make. Whereas these ones are like planned out mm. and yeah, you, you've learned yeah. a lot. Yes, yeah. and it's just ways different. Of, yeah. There's just ways that capture that, attention that was, better like. that was one thing that I thought with that one that was really good was like the different angles when to fight and you're you're focusing on Tony got his mic talking mm. to him and then you go from ringside to up top yeah that that was yeah like yeah. I would have liked to it keeps it interesting been um, like in an ideal world it would have been good if there was another camera but like my view of Tony but to the ring more cinematic, yeah. a bit closer. But the only thing is, with the boxing events, you don't have that much clearance. Space. Like you can't really. It's it's way more professional than like martial arts, small yeah. show martial arts, or a combat fight series where they'll let you get up to the ring. There, it's like you can't come. You can't really get close to anywhere. It's quite like three people in the corner. You have to be licensed, otherwise you can't be there. Like there's no. Mm -hmm. Do, yeah, do, you know do, I mean? do you know what else I think would be a good one as well just for like um, obviously you wouldn't have to do it but like maybe like a camera on like the group of supporters you know like yeah. Shelly and all that getting their reactions right yeah, yeah. would be a good one yeah but that would have been good could also yeah that would have been good get another camera yeah and just focus on different mm. areas because to be fair now he's on these shows you might be able to use the footage from them with permission so like this this show he's just been on in an ideal world, speaking to them and saying like, is it all right if we use some of the footage? Because then you've got commentary with it and f yeah. and footage. Sort of like how um when the, the guy at McKenzie done Dan McGowan's, they had the commentary and the footage and stuff like that. Because it's just different angles of different yeah. footage. Then you don't have to focus on the fight because you've got the fight highlights. You can focus on the crowd in the corner. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. that I think miking up the corner is like mandatory. Uh, yeah. Mandatory. Like it's it's... To hear what's being said and stuff like that is like... It helps like, the non-boxers, like people that are involved with it, understand it a little bit yeah. more, what's going on, what he wants him to do. You know what I mean? I thought that And was that relationship. And then you, like see, yeah, and you see how Frankie relays it. Because he does. Yeah, he listens he to does, every yeah. instruction. Yeah, no. But, go um, watch it, guys. No, nah, yeah, yeah. Go watch it. Head over there. It was, uh, it was a pleasure making it. And it was. It, it, I think it's come out good. It's come out good. Very proud, man. Proper proud. It's... Uh, and it's not the last one. There's a lot of people. Get, first of many, better. man. First of many. Even just locally, like there's a lot of people. Like we're speaking to Linus, we're speaking to Ticey. Uh, you got Sam Creasy. Imagine making a Sam Creasy dog. That's an interesting cat. That, I'm sure you could get... Um, that is an interesting Sam cat. Because he's a samurai. He is. He's got that mindset of like... He's, he's a, a very, samurai. He's that a is a stoic person, He's a stoic man. guy. That is a yeah. banger. And he's coming... You'd say he could... What, is he 35? He could be coming to the end of his career. That's something that... That's I would love to do something like that for him. Yeah, so, Sam King as well. Sam King coming through, like actually make him more of a documentary for Pulley if he's fighting on one of these bit. Like you never like they, there's a lot. All the people you've kind of made these small, them small like behind the scenes yeah. things. You can make actual docs now because it's it's been done. Like the proofs in the pudding. Mm -hmm. Like it's doable. It's just finding and the only thing now that I think of that like <laughs> when I when I think of the next one, I'm like I f I look at bits in Frankie's and I'm. I'm trying to like, oh, I could do this bit for theirs or this bit for theirs, but then it'll be it could be samey samey. I don't know. It just have to get to when I'm filming it. What I, what? But still, that, that around. you want to you do want to you want to keep the same style, style. You because like it's make my it your it's style, my yeah. style. But I mean, like not too not the same, exact yeah. same. Your 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 yeah, but, but it'll come it, when it, it comes. It, yeah, yeah, you'll be more creative when someone so because someone it's different personality. The situation mm. will be completely different. You'll have a different way of looking at things. What was uh like favorite parts of it or favorite part? Like if you, I'm not just talking like what like a ten. It can be like any like a ten second bit or like your favorite montage out of it. Or like what was your favorite bit in the whole doc? My favorite part. I really love the ending, man. The outro. Yeah, yeah the, outro. the Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor stuff. McGregor, yeah, that, that really, really had good. me like... That, that had like hair stand up. Yeah, I think that's my favourite part. I had hair stand up, that, man. So I was just like, this is giving me... Because I know Frankie, innit? So it's like... It I know relates. What, Everything I know Conor McGregor is saying, through. it relates. Yeah, I know what he's been through. I know what he's trying to achieve. And it's just like... I was just like... 
this kid is something so special, man. Like, you're witnessing greatness. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing about it. And that's the beautiful thing. He's got his own documentary now. Yeah, and I agree. Like, this brings more eyes and more people to support him on his journey. And I think that's the... Yeah, that, that part really hit me, man. Yeah. But no. again, all, all of it was good. It's hard to say, like, because I can't even say... Like, I, th- I thought that was really good. I also but, thought a bit... Um, you know, like where you edited his like mum's photo and like oh, just the editing that, on that yeah, bit yeah, was yeah. really good and the, the effects you put on it was good. And then obviously, like I said, the London calling bit was sick as well. It's really good. The, the London, London calling bit was funny. Like, it was just it. a good little. You know, it was a good little it. like anecdote in the to doc- show where yeah. we're going to. To like to yeah. show the build up of where we where we we're, we're yeah. on the train and make. We're going to yeah, London. Yeah, like yeah, London's yeah. calling, and then also <laughs> it's an inspiration like inspiration to people, man. I thought one thing that I thought was good is like you kept it real as well. You didn't like right on the train, like you hear all the noises of the people coming on and the train. That's one thing coming. I didn't like. I thought, yeah, like, I didn't I, like that. I, I thought that at the start when I when you I showed did. me it before, but it shows you it's nitty gritty. I I, I thought that yeah. was like. People like that. I don't know. down there on the train. Freak. You're not got yeah, like a like, driver it's, it's, it's and stuff. It's a bit different for me because yeah. I'm an audio freak. I'm but like, you're showing I, a come up, isn't it? It's a bit real. It's gritty. Like, your boy's yeah, getting like, the train to go fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, that is true. He ain't rolling yeah. up in no car with yeah, no, no, no driver. driver. Yeah. train station is walking. Yeah. Yeah. bag of his suit. Yeah, trust. Nah, it was... I thought that was... It just showed where, like, you're starting off and you're going to get that driver but when you watch it it's so yeah. natural as well you get drawn yeah, in yeah. everything draws you in do you, know you want to know more about you, know you want to hear about him another thing that I also really like about it is because obviously you and him have a really good relationship like you're friends and it shows in the documentary when he's around you he feels yeah, so he's comfortable, comfortable yeah, like, yeah. he feels like he, it's not like he's just some random person like the BBC or something and you don't like you feel a bit scared to mm. open up or whatever but when he like even when we were doing the interview bit it was him. just like yeah. he felt so comfortable around us. We already knew everything that he told us, but imagine him telling it's, that to somebody for the first time, like random, that they don't even know. Yeah, you'd have yeah. to feel really comfortable. It's so like, mad. We'll have a warm impression. Because that interview bit, man, we, <laughs> bro, we had the maddest fucking. So we filmed it the first time, yeah, but because the audio, um, the or something went wrong with the camera and the, the speaker and the audio. So I was like, it's, it was buzzing. And I was like, nah, I can't use that because it's because it's on the interview bit. And because it was so cold in there, oh like my nose was running in there, yeah. But his nose was Frankie's nose was and running. You could see so it. but because of the glare of the lights, you could see his nose running. And I was like, Well, we can't even use it, man. We can't use that. And then um so we went in there again to do it. <laughs> the week later. That was we went in fun. there again to do it and we're so fucking stupid, yeah. Well, I am anyway. I've just brought this new mic, yeah, and I was connecting it to the Zoom H6, <laughs> and it was it was red, yeah. But I haven't used it that much, so I was like, "Bruv, we thought the, wire like, the was batteries wrong. just come with it." I've only used it like three times, yeah. It shouldn't be out of battery, and we're like unplugging it, plugging it, Thinking doing this. The and we're like, "Bruv, what the fuck's wrong with this?" Yeah, changing the wires, doing all this. Oh, that's when you were gonna send it back or something. And we realised that the fucking batteries. I had run out, yeah. So I've sent Mike's Mike's gone to the shop to get batteries. I've told him the wrong batteries to get. So he's come back. We got the wrong batteries. Went back, got the batteries, put new batteries in. That's working, yeah. And because this whole time I'm like looking at the Zoom H6, you obviously have to press record on every to start recording. <laughs> but because the whole time I'm looking at it, yeah, the, the levels are going up. I just think, oh, the levels are going up. It stayed on. We're good, yeah. Camera's on. This on. We're good. Everything's on. We recorded the whole thing, 30 minutes of talking. It was longer than that. Nah, I think it was 30 minutes. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was 30 yeah, minutes. Didn't even record. Didn't, and I was like, I went to go press stop on the recording and I was like, we didn't record it. We didn't fucking record it. So then, we had to do it again. Then we got interrupted though before we started yeah. again. Like there's a recording studio, like a music studio, like down the road from it was, the boxing yeah, club. Yeah, it's not there now. Oh, is it? Yeah, like, yeah, they've taken it out. Oh. But it, yeah, it that was. Just, that's 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 a mess. And some guy comes in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a Black yeah. guy comes in, and we're fucking sh- we're shook. Like you got. Like, I'm like we're sitting there, yeah, and I just hear the door go. Are we because you can see people yeah. walking past that yeah? alleyway. But yeah. I've got like my Mac, my fucking Zoom H6 cameras. I've got everything out, yeah. And I'm thinking, bruv, we're in fucking park down there. This could be some <laughs> crackhead just walking in here. And I'm thinking, I turned around to Mike, so I was like, bruv, Mike, so I'll just, I'll have to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and he comes in with his hood up and he goes, you seen Dez? Dez is obviously the guy that owned, owned the next bit and he, he works at the gym. And we're like, I rang his eye, he's probably next door, in it? And then he goes, what you man doing? And just walked in. <laughs> yeah, come over and he's, and just like, over yeah, and he's looking fucking at... looking around in that front. We're like, what you want? You've walked into the wrong place and then gone, what you man doing? And just walked <laughs> over. And then he left and then, in between one bit, they because they're using the studio, they started playing the music. Yeah. But then we Bad we refilmed it, up. and it was it was fine. And then yeah. it probably come out better. No, to be fair, I'm glad it did because, like you said, we we trialed and errored the questions, didn't we? While we was going, and we made the questions better, and we we made the flow better. Yeah, because it was it was at it was quite um everything works out for and really. because yeah it does it does because it was, frankie said it multiple times that, like the answers to the questions as well he felt he more, got more like, in the yeah. flow of what um, he wanted to say yeah that he part's didn't... a really good part as well yeah by the ring yeah. yeah yeah i think that's mandatory though for the first one you do with someone yeah because you need to find out their story and it's it? good you like, put, like, i think i would do that with everyone of course that everyone knew well, like the next time you have him you don't you can do small sit down interview bits like like what the anatomy of the fighter does maybe he's just standing up and he's talking you like but it'd be more like the reese cooper bit yeah where he's talking you through what they're doing what do why they're doing it and coming opponent and it's and cut stuff, like, stuff that. like that and but they'll be showing more of like it'd be more montage um but for anyone new, like a Linus or a Tyson, yeah, to sit down. Well, yeah, well, like, yeah, but you have to because you, they need, you, you need to see the story. We need to know need the to character. Know. Yeah. yeah. We're leading their story. But yeah, that was that was just a funny fucking, that was a funny bit of yeah, it was. what it was at the start. But UFC 290. Yeah. UFC what 290. Card. What a card. What yeah. a card. Mate, that card was unbelievable. Dana, and it was funny because I was listening to Brendan Sharp talk about it the other day and he was like, he was calling it, he wasn't saying it was overrated. He was like, this is a card of favourites. It should be called the card of favourites because we already know who's going to win in every fight. But he was saying about uh, Driscus and Dracus and Robert Whitaker. He was like, I don't see Dracus beating him at all. Like, there's no way. Like, this is, this is a complete mismatch. Like, and he I was like, real mm, deal, I don't know if it's a mismatch. Like, Robert Whitaker's a I, fucking technical I thought, monster. I thought Robert Whitaker would like fucking do him he was on the cardio, him. like catch him and like and beat him up. From what I've seen of Dresden, the Plissies look bigger than him. Though. The Plissies look fucking big, huge, bigger than huge. Big. He's so he awkward like he standing though. Do you not think he looks real from... awkward? Like, yeah, the way he stands awkward. and the way he comes in, he looks awkward. like he's gonna fall over. But he looks like he hits hard, like a Mack truck. Yeah, when he, <laughs> when he jabbed him, I was like, "Wow!" In his nose, wow, it, bro! Like he sent man to he sent man to the he shot, sent man know. to the shadow realm. <laughs> you seen his eyes on the yeah. replay? He was he was out, bro. He was out. as a beginning, and even when he rained down that elbow and it was split his eye, he hit him with a body shot after, innit? it? <laughs> oh, bro! I was just like, and you, you, you can he's see. got shoulders, man. It was yeah. just like, boosh. I like actually like him. I think I like him as well. Yeah, I like him. And but that fight was um um like that was a fight. I think on the whole card, that was the fight I wanted to watch the most. I was like, that's the fight I'm m the most invested yeah, 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 in. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Volk, Volk, um, you Rodriguez. Know. I thought Rodriguez could catch him. It's unlikely, but that uh, Dracus Robert Whitaker. I was like, because Robert Whitaker is the weep reaper. He is technical. The way he stands, the way he's very, and then he just he he fakes one and comes round, and he's so, and then he yeah. throws a high kick. He's so technical, man. He, and just, he did get, out but he got dog. caught. Yeah, he, he got did, caught, man. and he just got, and but but he you seen it in his highlights. When he catches people, he catches. He goes on them. It's mad like, as well because they're saying that uh, Driscus, his nose has been broken most of, most of his like fights. Career, like, yeah. yeah, yeah so he's right. only been able to breathe out twenty percent of. He's only yeah. been able to get twenty percent oxygen that's out of his nose. Nuts, man. That fight was good though because it like all leads up to the Izzy fight. Like Izzy's a knob, man. Yeah, I'm rooting for for, right, for yeah. Dracus. Like, how how for he Drickers. come in? Like I can't, even, I, can't I can't even say the word. Drickus, dickhead. <laughs> Fuck Why did Izzy say in that? Sean so Strickland was going in on Izzy on, on yeah. Chinese. Yeah. He's got him a Chinese, Chinese whore. He's got him a Chinese whore. He's got him a Chinese whore. Chinese whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but bro, like, how are you coming into? You look like a knob. You look but like this a is fucking what I'm saying knob. And, and it, you're saying that word like it's normal to say that word. But he never does say that word. That's what I'm saying he's to you the other head. day about the emotions. He's got to him, I think. Yeah, he I has. think he's rattled Izzy from saying that. But that might not Africa be a good comment. thing. Though. It might not be a good thing because it's such high level and his striking is high level. But this is a good fight, man. Yeah. Because he's good, be good at wrestling. Fight. He's good at wrestling, yeah. but Izzy's got good takedown defense. 
but he's a good wrestler. And but he's not a small he's middleweight. Massive, he's massive. Hey. It, like he's Drift, Just he's one of the biggest uh, middleweights. Big, man. He looked. Bro, he looked massive. So no, he, he looked, looked massive. Huge. When I was looking at Robert, Whitt- I was like, Robert Whitt- he's a big guy, man. When he come in, I was like, fuck. But now we hell. sit there and we say, the one person, and this is because it was a light heavyweight fight, but the one, but Izzy struggled with uh, Jan Blahovic. Obviously, it's a lot different. He's big. Jan Blahovic is big. He's fighting, and he's he's got good wrestling. He's fighting Pereira. Yeah. But now you think like I. There's similarities with Dr- Driscus and Bland uh, Jan the way they yeah. are, like the way they're built. Because he's a big motherfucker, the Dris- PCs. What is, what's Driscus uh, specialising? He does a bit of Muay Thai, doesn't he? I think he's just an all-round. He's just an all-round. Could you see? Muay Thai. Because I was thinking at one point, like, his jiu-jitsu. Because I was like, he was... Tr- when yeah, Whitaker took him get, down, yeah. he nearly cinched in a guillotine. Yeah. But then you see the, like you see how high level these guys are here. Yeah? As soon as he cinched in a guillotine, Whitaker stepped over. J- just flipped over and... It broke it. It breaks it straight away. These are high level motherfuckers, He's man. But second degree black belt and kickboxing. Second degree black belt and kickboxing. What has he got? Is no wrestling or nothing mm-hmm. like that. Oh, that's good, why. Because I watched it before. And Drisca, this is what just he says. This is the same. When. Oh, he don't look like a kickboxer. Him and, yeah, him and Izzy apparently, like, way back when, like, sparred. I think he was at like, 19. Like, they were both out in Thailand training Muay Thai. They sparred, didn't and they? And then they, didn't, they never sparred. They oh, never they went against each other. They have other, sparred, yeah. though. Have they? Yeah, they sparred. Um, I mean, it was never. In it was MMA land. though. He sparred. Oh yeah, he was like because he wanted to try it out. Um, him, but he never done. It. And so he's he doesn't look like a kickboxer, does he? No. Shoulders he does. Shoulders no. Yeah. I mean, big sh- frame he does. But I mean, when you look, at, he's very awkward the way he stands. He switches, doesn't he? He's very, just looks very awkward. He's very good though. So good, and he's wrestling. I reckon. He, I just think he hits really hard, man. But you yeah, not think he, he just powers hard. through? Yeah. The way he got up. Yeah. The way he just looks like he just powers, wow, think, powers, powers through. through and, Bo nickel. Bo nickel. Yeah. Bro, he's a beast. Power. Bro, he Wait, was, did you see? Bro, he Wait, was like coming in for like wrestling oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. banging him. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Whoa. Did you see that bit when Bo Nickel ran up to him and he went to take him down? They like smashed chest. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he come back out. <laughs> I was like, this is some ape <laughs> shit, yeah. man. Yeah. Running at each oh, other and just. He is so explosive. He's massive. He's explosive, man. He's so got I was looking a at this other dude well. thinking. Bo Nickel, yeah. Because that other dude never lost either. So I was thinking, oh, this fight, okay, it might be like, looks all right. But then when I started seeing him chuck hands, I was like, yeah, but so what? now we know he's got hands. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, yeah. It, they're not the greatest hands, but he's got hands. Bro, he's they're not the greatest, but they're explosive. Oh, very explosive. He's, he's coming in for like a takedown and he's just hitting you. Yeah, it's but like, I think, but I think with wrestlers, that's the threat. You have that. Look at Khabib and McGregor. Khabib can't strike. His striking's very bad and very oh, awkward. Yeah. But you're always worrying about a takedown, so your hands are always. And then they come over with a punch. Yeah. And it's like. Where the fuck did that come? Like, you're waiting for a takedown. So, wrestlers always do have that. Str- I don't think they need to be the best strikers, especially with their level of wrestling, like Bo Nickel. There's no one, it could be even a Bo Nickel and a Colby Covington. There's no one who is stuffing takedowns off of them, unless it's a wrestler versus a high level wrestler like Usman uh, Covington. Like, they cancel each other's wrestling out. But then Bo Nickel and Covington or Bo Nickel and Usman or Bo Nickel... Bo Nickel's got the highest level of wrestling in the UFC. Easily. NCAA... Three-time NCAA champion. Mm, yeah. That's what? high they're, level they're wrestler. They're the same way, isn't they? Yeah. yeah well, well, obviously, I, other than a Cejudo, just because he, he won the Olympics, so that's the highest level of yeah. wrestling you can get in it. But he's he's got the highest level of wrestling, especially with his size. That's his like, top rate. He reckons he stonks people at the top. I reckon he stonks people. I, I reckon you could put him in the top 15 right now. Yeah, I do. I and think he puts people threat, out because of that wrestling. Yeah. But they're not going to. He's going he's yeah, to be doing this. Up. He's going to be doing this for a few more fights at least. I don't know, you know, man. Ham's that Bo Nickel, man. Give it to me. Oh, like Give it that. to me now. I want to see, that, yeah. I wanna see it now, oh, man. I think Bo do, Nickel do you know why I don't think I, they I, would I, do like, that? Yeah. I think, he do, I, think I actually... Well, That's a good it, fight, though. Highlights, yeah. That's a good Bro, fight, dude. though. He's, Hamza is... Hamza is naughty on the I'm feet. I'm not going to lie, yeah. I, that guy, he's a beast. Love him, yeah, but... There's something special with this guy. Man. Yeah, it's Hamzat's you, naughty you, on the Ham, feet. Hamzat was fighting like week in, week out during like, I'm picking him up and saying, Dana, they're like, yeah, I need better. Yeah. I need oh, better. Do you know what it is though with Hamzat? It's uh, with Bo Nickel, it's like he's fighting more consistently at the minute. So you remember more of him. Hamzat's yeah. not fighting, is he? Yeah, and his last he fight knows. that he did have, it was a, he could have lost. He it wasn't a good. Yeah, but. 
No, what? not all the Holland fight. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm talking the Burns fight. Burns. I thought that was oh, the last fight. I forgot yeah. about the Holland fight. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that, yeah. That, that fight, yeah, but that don't make that. I don't even. We knew that was happening. That fight. Yeah, Holland that, gets mauled by wrestlers all the time. Yeah, but yeah, that fight. Um, that was just. That was a mauling though. He ragdolled him. But I want to. See, I'd see. Uh, Gilbert, was it? Gilbert Burns. Yeah. That was, that, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like he just he, he got a little bit wild in that fight. If he was a wild. little bit more strategic, he so wild. Been, he was just like <laughs> he just down. he just wants to maul people. Yeah, like, he don't care about the consequences. Yeah, but and Dan Hooker. Oh, um, well, let me just quickly go back to the the Plessis thing as well. Yeah, I'm 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 rooting for the Plessis on that one with Israel. I didn't yeah, like the way same. he handled himself in the ring, shouting that word, and giving it like all the like. Oh, I didn't like that. That was a bit weird for me. I, I didn't. Like, I didn't. I, like agree, that. Yeah. I just thought you went a bit. You didn't like you shouting that word and you're saying you're my this and you're my that. Hey, what about hey, the boys from South Africa, man? What about if he just starts shouting that word at you? Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's the thing. Like, you can't be. Yeah, but it's not that. It's on prime. It's TV. It's on prime man, TV. Yeah. I, I, I think word. he didn't do himself any favours. Yeah, you're like that, man, that that He word, didn't. Like, they moan about shit like that, and then you coming on there and like just smash. Just shut up, man. Like it's professional. Double he handled it well. Yeah, he's corn. He ended up just walking off. The police, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he just Why walked off. Walk? He goes, yeah, "What see, do you say you take that shit?" Like I said, I think it's gonna be. It's either gonna be a, a, a Khabib, mauling, a, yeah, a Khabib for, for, or an Aldo with the mind games thing. It's like, is he gonna come out like Khabib with McGregor, or is he gonna come out like Aldo? Is a bit, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that out. I, I think he's gonna. I think is. I don't know if the mind games will affect Izzy that much, but he does look. Um, he does. He's, he it's obviously rattled. emotional. Yeah. He's obviously rattled. I didn't really like it, but after that, I just think you're just a, you're just a knob. But he's just gone and knocked out Robert Whitaker. That's a big statement, man. Big statement. So he deserves this shot. This is a good fight. How old is he? He's not old. Hey. The police. 29. No, I don't think he is. He's though. 29. So this is good, man. It shakes up things in that middleweight division. Yeah. But that, and then in, in, in the realms, in the shadow realm, you've got both nickel putting people out, yeah. man. So he's going to be climbing up there soon. Not that not that long. What's Bo Nickel middleweight? Middleweight, yeah, yeah. I think he is. Um, and then, what did you say, Dan Hooker? You know, he fought half of that fight with a broken arm. Yeah. When did he break it? In the second round? I think so, yeah. Because that's what... That, is that why he laid Joe. on him when he took him down? He didn't stand him back up? That's why like, Joe Rogan... I heard DC like, yeah. and that were like... Post-fight, um, X-rays with he had a broken arm. He won with a broken um, arm. DC and that were like... Um, if he was him, he would stand him up. Like, you know, when he took him down or he he went to his back, he'd stand him up because he was like on the verge of getting knocked out in that third round. Um, but obviously, if he had a broken arm, it makes more sense to just ride the round out because it, it was a close fight, though. Because because yeah. Jalen won you, round you, one. I don't think if you knew, and and I was watching round two, and I was like, because I had seen the results already, and I was watching round two, and I was like, Jalen won the whole round up until the last minute. I thought personally, like, like it was close, it was back and forth, but when he landed that head kick, yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah, my yeah. god, that head kick, yeah. Oh that my guy, god! I don't know how he the sound. That that. Did you hear yeah. the sound of it? That, yeah, it was like crack, mm. and he 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 ate it, but he put pressure on him. But I thought Jalen was winning that round up until the last minute when, yeah, but what? Dan Hooker chucked the kitchen sink why, out why at him. Why did he put pressure on him, man? He crumbles. Yeah, man. he didn't like that. He, he don't like. But it's how long you can put pressure on someone for because it is hard. Because it even is, in yeah. the third round, he still was landing a few turner. He's a good fighter, man. He's a good fighter. No, that was a good fight. Good. Yeah, that was a very good, was fight. good fight. Stylistically, that was Dog. a very good fight. Yeah. But Dog there was fight. times I was like, I don't know how Dan Hooker wins this. But I felt like Dan Hooker I thought he was going to be two rounds dogs, up, man. but yeah, Dead Dan dogs. Hooker dogged it out. Yeah. He dogged it out. Like He, he wanted it, man. And ended that felt second like round on top. Yeah, he started... He started think, there's points where he's, he was like, Giving up, sort of, man. Oh, he's so gassed. It's gassed. I think he was gassed. He was so gassed. Because they were talking... Because he did miss weight. So so was the weight cut like a really big issue? You missed it by like three pounds. Two, mm. two or three pounds. Yeah. So like him making the weight, was he just like, fuck trying to actually make the weight? Probably, probably, yeah, yeah. 100%. Mm. It's not, it's some, take Cause I think some it, people yeah. try and make the weight and if they think they can't make it, they just give up making it and take the, take the punishment. Yeah. Because yeah. they're like, why deplete? I'm not going to make it. Why deplete myself anymore? I'm going to get the fine. Just, yeah. just, just stop. Cause you're not going, but then it's like a bit dirty when you do that. Cause the other person's fucking gone to Helm's yeah. Deep. Yeah. Got ready for gone it. Gone to Helm's Deep. Like, you've yeah. not you've not cut... I've never cut weight, but them them last few pounds must be like hell. hell like, yeah. you've just walked through the fires of hell. So, but he... Gone through camp. Yeah. Speaking that was a good fight. yourself. 
Robbie Lawler will never have to do that again. I haven't seen, I didn't watch the Robbie Lawler fight. I only but, watched the main, the main uh, card. 38 seconds. Man, man. Come out with he won. Hands, he yeah. knocked him out in 38 seconds. Fucking oh, hell. Hands, hands. Did he? Yeah, come out Big hands. ruthless. ruthless I, like, I love when I see people. He ain't retiring. Up. He I is love, retiring. Bro, he's like, like, you ain't no, oh, them fighters <laughs> like that, they can't retire on a high that good. 30 and 16 though. He man. comes I, I, back. I love seeing shit like that though. Like, salute you. Like, you know, when you see, you see him walking to the ring, he's bare emotional. man. It was fucking Nate Diaz. Sick. Yeah, go out. It's just like fucking salute you, man. Yeah. Um. Are you, and then fair play to him. I really like Robbie Lawler. When he, when he was the champ, I was like, when he had that Rory McDonald fight and his lip was split. Yeah. They were like looking each other down in the fourth round. I was that. He's. A, I like his lip. I did no, like him. Sick, it's disgusting, man. We got um. Yeah. The Pantoja Moreno. That fight. was the best fight, fight in the card. Yeah, I, I think that was the best. Best fight on the card. Yeah. How I didn't want it to stop. Was that fight? Yeah. How technical. Moreno, Ground but these, but them lightweight fight, um, the flyweights are technical because they're so small. Yeah. They're so technical. His hands, Moreno's got hands, hands, left hooks. He's so quick, but Pantoja's grappling, man. It did show through. Yeah. I did think Pantoja won. Yeah, I thought I thought Pantoja, Pantoja won. I thought it was a fair result. Them, yeah, they got to run it back though and I think they will run it back because well, it it'll, be the fight. it'll be the no, third fight. No, no, no. Fight. Not a lot of people. I don't think there's there's an argument about the result. I haven't seen an But um, I think it's, they've hired out um, the, the stadium mm. on Mexican Independence Day because Canelo can't get the T-Mobile. He normally fights at the T-Mobile. He can't get it because the UFC have hired it out. So I'm thinking they're going to do Alexia Grasso versus Shevchenko too. I don't know if it's been announced. Has it been announced? No, the, the Shevchenko Grasso so. fight. They're probably going to do that because it's Mexican Independence Day. You know how Dana said he fucked up on the Mexican oh. fighters and they'll probably do the Moreno if they both come out fine, Pantoja rematch. September, is that too close though? Oh, it's not far. It's, mm. August, September, that's fucking not long. But it depends it's not long. Up for it. That was a war though. That was a war. Whoa. Uh, the Grasso Shevchenko is. They happening. were both like going. Where is it? It's like, been announced. It's been announced. It's on a fight. It's on a fight night. It's not even on a um a main a main event. Wow. Like two two. So why 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 have a card on Mexican Independence Day then? If you're not gonna, there's not gonna be Mexican Saturday fighters the on 16th it. Sixteenth of September. Yeah, Van Grasso Shevchenko too. Oh, that that might be the day then. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that it's is. Not, the, it's not a. Um, it's not a pay per view. It's not a pay per view. They might though now. Show, yeah. If they put. A, Wait, they he's put been a, hitting up the fight shows with some good cards, man. Yeah, the fight shows. Yeah, but they're yeah. not a pay per view. Um, there's some good cards going to be coming up, man. This card was. But that that fight, that Pantoja man. fight. Oh God, uh, the way that he will take your back, man. Yeah, and he's just good on the he's, ground. He's but the Moreno, legit. like you play devil's advocate, the way he defended. Like you got to give props. Like, do do judging look at like do are we just scoring takedowns or are we scoring if you take someone down and the way they like uh, they he score, had him in a body triangle. Reversals. I don't know, man, because he reversed him bare and got into his guard yeah. after. But then you look at it like the way he held body triangles in, but the he didn't he couldn't do nothing because the because his def defense on the fight in the hands and that was so good. So it's like, what are we? Because do you know what the issue is? Yeah, even like the commentators were like, it's not the scoring. But, but then obviously, like in jujitsu, you'd, you'd point score because you've got someone's back. Yeah, but it, it's like school. If you go down to like schoolyard playground rules, like yeah, it's when not, we were going, it, no, 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 it's not. But I'm saying like let's 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 go down to that law. It's like going into the fifth. It was everyone was like, I don't even know who's winning. Yeah, like the fight was that even, even with. Let's take out control time and who took who down. I we were thought, like, who's winning? I thought when it coming into the fifth, Pan, if Pantoja I, could do do. No, I, I set, thought Pantoja was that. winning because we know how fights are scored. Yeah, but I mean, like even Rogan, that were like, this fight is so is close. close. Like, yeah, who, we actually we don't know yeah. who's winning. It just depends yeah. how it's judged. But but one of the judges gave. It a four one to Moreno, which yeah, is a did, bit. Yeah. Mm. I don't, I don't know about all that. I don't know how no. you could. If it was a four one to anyone, it would have been Pantoja just because yeah. of the takedowns. His um post -mat, post fight interview is sick as well. Pantoja, yeah, yeah, he's getting emo he's emotional, emotional. Yeah, emotional. Really. He's like calling yeah. out his daddy. Are you proud of me now? Are you proud of me now? Because he oh, left him, innit? Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah, his, his mum raised him and his brother, and he was saying, yeah, he's like, He'd beat his you proud of me now, dad? You proud of me now, dad? <laughs> him in some mad look, then his man, four you know, kids slap. came running in and they're crying and that. that was a good fight man that was yeah, a very good fight was, and I, I, you know what it is I can respect it though now doing jujitsu because like bro, I know I know what it takes when you're on the floor someone's on top of you and you're like 
just trying to scurry up, man. That's it's hard. It's, it's mad it's hard, hard to get hard, out. It's hard, man. Like, like, always boys like, get up, get your feet, get your feet. You're like, man, yeah. I'm <laughs> or, or like, but at that level, it's it's like you know, you know, in the lot in the fifth round when he had Moreno in the body triangle and he was sitting on his back. It's like I could imagine the corners saying like. Get him off of there, but uh, bro, we're talking. This is this is the highest level, guys. Like he he goes to chuck him off and moves one arm. He's getting his neck taken like yeah. that. So you're it's better so off much, just sitting there. You're so better off just sitting there and it. riding like, it out. You're getting a bang, <laughs> Wait, and then you're getting a bang to loosen up, and then you're thinking, "Fuck no!" I'm or he takes you back. This. Like it's you're probably better off just standing there. And, and, and I know it's the fifth round, and just Keep hoping riding, like yeah. one judge is saying, "All right, he's on your back." He's not doing damage. Tony, like, who are we going? I told you he had some hands, man, as well. He man. did have hands. Yeah. He, he had some hands. He gassed he just, himself. He, he did gas himself. In the first in round, yeah. he came out yeah. flying, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Come out like a... Because Moreno, I think it was in the third round, he come out and he was looking quick. Man. quick. I was like, bro, he's got some hands and feet, man. Hands and he, have feet. If he just kept, I think, doing that more... Mixing it up. How, how yeah. much can he keep that? Tell you, these, He didn't throw as much kicks, But when you got a man on your back and you're standing... He didn't throw as much kicks. Nah, but when you got someone standing, like, hanging on the back of your back and you're still standing ending up against the cage man that's that's wear and tear man yeah. you gotta try to keep him up and yourself up while he's like these men fiddling with you really do hit their their prime when they're hitting them 33 34 age you know yeah like he's 33 pantoja yeah but he um because he lost to figueredo i think davison figueredo who yeah. was the champ who moreno beat that was a good fight. I feel man. like you're wise. I'd watch that wise at yeah. age I'd as watch well. That I'd watch all of them back on this card. Yeah. To be fair, I'm kind yeah. of glad. I, I, I honestly, I loved it. Then you got I Volk, loved the card. The main, the main event. Yeah, he done exactly what I thought he was gonna do. Yeah, he he is elite. He's elite. elite. He's he elite. might be. He might he be the pound it. for pound he's, the best. He is. I think he's better than guy. even DC. Yeah, who's trained with Makashev. He 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 was even like he's pound for pound number one. Yeah. Like Volk's pound, he went up there and fought Makashev. Like, all right, whether he won or lost, the fight was that close. Where Everyone, a forty-five yeah. has just had the closest fight with care. a fifty-five. He, you are pound he, for pound number he, one. He, yeah. he put a beat down on Makashev. Yeah. You know what I mean? He put beat. His eye was beat up. <laughs> You know what I mean? He was beating well, him up. Even though, okay, fair enough, you were winning. You might add more control time, but he was smashing you every time you had his back he was smashing you he says that's what he wants and he? he wants that lightweight title man huh? that's that's, that's I, I, what he wants. there's no one there's no again. one you, you got Taporia, who's never lost he's not lost he's like 12 and 0 who had that thing with Paddy Pimblett I don't yeah. know how Paddy Pimblett they would they would they're lucky they didn't make that fight because he would have got the shit beaten out of him by Taporia. that's a that's a that's a championship he, ready he fighter. Don't, he he doesn't look like he's going to be fighting anytime soon either does he Paddy, Paddy Pimblett. Pimblett. yeah um, but, so Taporia. Volk, you could do. I don't want to see Spore it. No, I want to see Makachev. Yeah, no, I want to see Makachev. He, he, he don't deserve Volk. none of them bombs. He don't. It's too close of a fight. I want to see that fight again for the title. I think that's that. He well yeah. deserves that. Still I don't want to see him make. against fucking. He ain't got to prove anything, bro. He's a champion in his own fucking league. But yeah. who we got? But who we got Max in Charlie. the lightweight that could be fighting for a title? Oh, um, Oliveira just beat Darius because it would have been Darius. Yeah. It would have been Darius in Abu Dhabi if he won, just because he's on a that that win streak and that. So Oliveira beat him. Oliveira recently lost, so they're not going to probably do that one. You got Gaethje Poirier who have both lost Next for the title. But they're going to have the Vol BMF card, do not it? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think card. I think Volk. I think you. I think you do the winner of Gaethje versus um, Poirier, Poirier against Oliveira for to see whoever wins out of that. Contender. Yeah, and then you do Volk, um, Makachev, oh, I I see. I Abu Dhabi. You're going to make your man work for it, man. I think he deserves it. Who? Volk. I just said that. What? Volk Makachev. Oh, Volk Makachev. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, you yeah, do the, yeah. but you do the winner of, but you do Gaethje, the winner of Gaethje and Poirier versus Makes Oliveira. Oh, okay. That, to yeah, see yeah, who yeah, fights yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, 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 UFC that 291, sense. man. That's a stat card as well, you know. Who have we got on 291? So you got, you got Dustin Poirier, Gaethje is the main event. When When is this? Um, this is um, the 30th of July. The 30th of July. Ooh, that's gonna, that's a, should we talk about? Um... Yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah, we don't have to give yeah, predictions we'll though because yeah, I feel like we'll, we'll be doing it. one before then. Yeah, then you've got uh, Jan Blazowicz or whatever you Pereira. Were saying. Yeah, Pereira. Well, I mean, would you say the top fight was Paul Gaethje? Yeah, the BMF title, wasn't it? Fight. Then you've got that Paolo Good Costa. Fight, man. Yeah. Five rounds. Yeah, five Good rounds. Good fight, yeah. man. Oh, Gaethje, he's it's going to be a big for, fight. For long. No, this is B his last. Yeah. I think this will be his last run. Paolo Costa, that. And do you reckon Ali, if he loses Ali's this, he'll be like, 
Know, Say that again. It. Ikram Ali Skirov. That's his who? Um, Paolo Costa. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know with that fight. And then you got um, Tony fight. Ferguson, Bobby Green. Good fight. And you got Michael Chiesa and Kevin Holland. That's a good, good fight. fight. Pretty decent. Oh, we forgot that, to say about the, the London card as well, the fight night. When is this coming up? That's next week. This next weekend week? coming. Ooh. No, next weekend. Who we got? We got Tom Aspinall versus. Um, it's not a great card though, is it? No, nah, it's not. It's not a great. A lot card. of British fighters. Yeah, on there. it's not a good. It's, but they did do a card in London already this year. Yeah, didn't it's they? good so to see some British fighters. Nathaniel yeah, Woods on it. Out. Molly McCann, Paul Craig, Jay Herbert, and Lerone Murphy. They're all. Who's British Paul fighters. Craig fighting? Andre. Um, Paul Craig would just be Muniz. Oh, he's gone down, isn't he, in weight? Yeah. So hey. remember that statement I made ages ago when I said Paul Craig versus. Hamzat, I I, I want to see it because yeah. of the jujitsu versus the wrestling. But then I and then someone commented and was like, "But Paul Craig's a light heavyweight and Hamzat's like a welterweight slash middleweight." But now he's gone down. Now Paul Craig's gone down to middleweight. Paul Craig's the one so that likes to lay make his that back, fight. Yeah, he yeah. don't want to be. He don't want to yeah. stand. Yeah. He can stand. Oh, he don't want to stand. He must be so. He if he believes in it that way. His jujitsu so is good, man. Dance, yeah. man. Like cinch you up quick. Who do you reckon's like? That's a good question. Who do you reckon's like? He, he but sometimes take, he, when you when you got that good jujitsu though, but you're getting smashed by a wrestler, they can't. They can't. It it changes a lot with when strikes. Come, when strikes yeah. are coming down on you, like. In a jiu-jitsu match, obviously you can, if someone's in your guard, they're not raining down bangs on you as well. So when someone starts raining down elbows on you, you're a bit like, whoa, mm. maybe but I can't fucking he, stay here. If he is that good and yeah. he's that composed, he can catch a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, no, quick. He'll get yeah. you quick. Like he could like catch people off guard. Like, yeah. And you're like, oh shit, I'm on my back. Who's the most exciting fighter coming out of the UK and Ireland for years? Bar like Edwards, bar the known ones. Yeah, like he's obviously established and he's champion. You're talking for the UFC? Yeah, UFC. Uh, probably Nathaniel Wood. Nathaniel Wood. He is. Yeah, ob- obviously the guy I think who. That fought- Ian Gary, man. Ian Ga- oh, United Kingdom. Yeah, Ian yeah. Gary's good, man. Ian, Ian Gary. Ian Machado good. Gary. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Good. Yeah, he's Pro- good, man. Irish, Irish. guy. Sick. The next coming to Conor McGregor, they reckon. Yeah. The way he talks. Calls oh, shot. Yeah, I've seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in the shot caller club. Have you seen yeah. Have you seen the video of him and his missus next to him and he's re-watching back the fight and he's like, yeah, I was doing this. I knew I was going to do that. Have yeah. you seen that? It's fucking he's jokes. Sick, man. He is I like him, Gary. Yeah. Nathaniel Wood's good. Yeah, Nathaniel Wood is good. Um, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of good fighters coming out of the Mokayev. UK. Mokayev. He's going he's gonna to keep growing up. He's in that division, um, the flyweight division, Mokayev. So he he might he might get a his next fight might be someone decent and then he might be on like a title run and he's good he's got yeah, wrestling and who's Chamaya meant to be next fighting then or isn't this I don't not know announced. it's not announced there was the rumblings there was they they, was they were it? talking Usman Shamaya but it never it wasn't official it, yeah. it, it was just a fake I think it was just fake they were talking about the only that. thing he's that announced is that like Steve Miocic versus John Jones yeah. in August I think it is isn't it. No, November, November Madison yeah. Square Garden. Two nine five. I yeah. think Bones is fucking Johnny nice. Bones. Oh, he hard fight though. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, like on like it's a hard yeah, fight on paper because Miocic. Like you remember when DC went up and yeah, he he knocked him out the first time and then Miocic put work on him the second two times. Miocic is good, man. He's Steve good. He, he can fight. He's got good John, hands. John Jones, Jones Golden Gloves man. champion. Yeah, but we're talking about John Jones. We're talking about Bones. You can't Johnny call that Bones. Bones. I think Bones puts the fear into people, man. But he looks... He, look, he just looks really, God. like, he did. weird. He did look shit. Didn't he? He, he looks did so look fucking shit. big. Yeah, but you know what <laughs> like, I don't even think... See him and Idra yeah. Adesanya the other day, how big Bones is. Yeah. Like, he looks massive at the minute. Wait, his yeah. diet must be mad, isn't it? Mad. He's he on must be in two, three chickens a day. Estrogen and fucking TRT, man. Yeah. That's like that Garn fight, man. I think he just lost it mentally. No, Garn, it, it, brother, it was, come on. It was a bit pathetic from Garn. He ran yeah, over there and just yeah. put him in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is what I mean. I think he generally lost the fight mentally. mentally probably. Yeah, he was probably like, brother, he had, going against John Jones. But come on, man. You're going against John Jones. He had zero jiu-jitsu. Zero. Like, he, he didn't even train. Like, because he lost that fight with Francis. Francis took him down and just done him on the ground. That's Francis, who, who who's not a good wrestler. Or not... Obviously, obviously, I'm comparing him to other UFC fighters. I mean, not compared to us, yeah. but compared to the the better UFC fighters, he can't wrestle because Stipe out wrestled him. But Stipe is a decent wrestler. Bones is obviously elite wrestling, elite wrestling. But he ran over there and just as soon as he got his hands on him, he fucking put him in a headlock. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I think. Like, Big brother he, did. He, he, he could. He did. He, he probably could, did. He could have been mentally like, um, this is real, man. Yeah, like, this is bones. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know yeah what I mean, bones. Yeah. What Charles Sonnen is it? Charles Sonnen. He said that um, the only person he's ever got in the ring and knew he was going to lose to before was John, John Jones. Jones. Yeah, that's when John Jones broke his toes. Yeah. yeah. He was he's like, a beast, man. He just he brings that that that's that scariness, doesn't he? Just pound for pound, great, huh? Who's your pound for pound like the dark, top, top fives? Volk number one. I, I think Volk all round is just that guy is incredible. But for such a mm. small guy and how he shots yeah. that distance, it makes people like like see the way he switches stances. To, yeah. to judge because yeah. he knew man. the kicks could come. Like he couldn't really kick because he just kept switching. You do them kicks were dangerous. He threw one the question mark kick. He threw one, it just missed, and then he threw another one that missed. But it, the power on it, I was thinking, whoa, that was like a fucking baseball bat coming at your head. Volk beat him up, though, man. Yeah, he did, he did. He's then John Jones. John Jones. Volk, John Jones. Um, Maybe Aljo. Yeah. I, can, I, I feel can. like he gets a little bit discredited. I think, I go, I think for me, I could go um, Volk, Jones. I could go Edwards. Aljo, I, yeah. I could potentially and go then Makashev. But I was thinking earlier, there was someone who's a champion who's 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 <clears throat> apparently this is the um from on the third of July, this is the pound for pound list. So Islam's number one. Yeah. Um Volkanovsky's number two, Adesanya's number three, John Jones is number four. And Edwards number five, Sterling number six. Oh yeah, I forgot about Adesanya. Yeah, I could, I could. Just... Charles Oliveira seven, Absolutely. Usman eight, eight Moreno crazy. nine, and Holloway yeah, ten. Yeah, he definitely is in the top four pound for yeah. pound easily. Then we also got some news as well over the weekend. Isn't it? Two inductees to the Hall of Fame: Jose Aldo and Cowboy Cerrone. Yeah, yeah. Big I do them. really want to see that vault. Yeah, I think I they really will make it ha- happen. Hunter, it has to happen. Hunter come into the ring and said, we're going to find out what's next for you like soon. He's not taking no damage. Makashev's just on the sidelines. Make it happen. Let's, Volk's let's, winning let's at life, it. man. He's doing well with his socials and that as well. He's just a character. Yeah, he's he's just a all-round he's nice guy, man. He's just a fucking man. meathead, man. Got that prime deal. <laughs> I really want to see that fight, man. So I, I, I reckon next time around, he, he, he does not in Abu Dhabi, it'd be good. Yeah, That'd be on good. good time for us as well. Yeah, we'd we'll be able be. to live stream it. Yeah, we'd be able to live stream it if he if he does, because that'd be on a good time for us. Yeah. So, yeah, but um, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. good yeah. People, subscribe, like, share, comment. Tell us your predictions. Tell us what you thought about UFC 290. What was your favourite part of Mavida Loca? Um. And keep rooting for the boys. Keep rooting for the town. And uh, make sure you definitely subscribe as well because we're reaching. We're, we're, we're brushing on that thousand. We're not far. We're on 605. We're, we're, we're coming for that thousand. We're creeping. Late We've got a lot creeping. of content coming up. More documentaries. More podcasts. Yeah, I'm good. Peace, people. Boss, the boys.